Okay, hi everyone. So we're here today for the SAT question of the day for September 22nd, 2011. Only 32% of students answered this one correctly, so it's a hard question. And it's a math question, so let's go ahead and read it. Uh, the graph above shows the distribution of the number of days spent on business trips in 2010 by a group of employees of Company W. Based on the graph, what is the median number of days spent on business trips in 2010 for these employees? Okay, so we have the term median here, uh, which we need to define. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and do so. So median is the middle number, but it's not just the middle number. It's the middle number after all the terms are counted and ordered. Um, so what I mean by counted is, for example, if we're going to use this, uh, this graph here, five employees had 20-day uh, business trips, right? or 20 days of business trips. So instead of just counting 20 once, I have to count 25 times. Right? So that's what I mean by counted, and ordered by ordered I mean put from least to greatest. Okay, So um, the ordered part we don't really have to do here since uh, they are already in order, but we do have to count them. Okay, so let's go ahead and count how many employees we have uh, taking these business trips. Okay, so we have five employees. There we go. We have five employees taking 20. We have uh, six employees taking 21. We have five employees taking 22. We have eight employees taking 23. We have six employees taking 24, and we have one employee taking 26 days. Okay, so let's add that up. 5 and 6 is 11, plus 5 is 16, plus 8 is 24, plus 6 is 30, plus 1 is 31. Okay, so there's 31 terms, right? Now, if you have 31 terms, then what that tells me is uh, that the 16th term is going to be the median. Now, how do I know that? Well, first of all, the only way that there's a true median is if there's uh, an odd number of numbers. You know, so I, if I have one, two, three, and four, uh, there's no true. Well, I mean, there is a true median, uh, but the median, what you have to do in this instance, because uh, there's no true middle number, is you have to take the average of the two middle numbers. Right, so the median of this list of numbers would be five halves. And I have to take the average because there's an even number of numbers. Okay, but when there's an odd number of numbers, there is a true middle. You know? So for example, if I had the list uh, one, two, three, four, five, then all of a sudden uh, three becomes the middle number and the median. Right? Um, now what you'll notice too is if I divide 5 by 2, to try to see the halfway point, I get 2.5. And the next highest integer happens to be my median. So that's what I would do here for 31 as well. I would divide 31 by 2. And I realize that equals 15.5. right? So the next highest number is the 16th term, which is the median. So let's figure out what the 16th term is. OK. Well, uh, 5 went for 20 days, 6 went for 21 days, I'm only up to 11. Uh, oh wait, but wait a minute, 5 went for 22 days. So uh, once I get to the 16th term, uh, I see that the 16th uh, employee took 22 days of vacation. Uh, so that explains why the answer is A, 22.